We have a lot of dry spots right now, but the storms that have fired up have been east and south. We do have one severe warning out right now. That one we were just tracking at the start of the show in Hood County has now pushed off into Johnson County. So a severe thunderstorm warning for Johnson County until 615. Reason for that warning, the threats up to 60 mile per hour winds and also looking at the threat uh, for some inch sized hail at least maybe bigger than that we'll keep an eye on that but at this point that is the thought of up to an inch in diameter hail now as we zoom in a little bit closer this cell moving off east northeast you can see pretty strong storm pushing off uh, as we go on into this next half hour that core where you would be seeing some of that inch size hail is right there on the northwestern tip of Johnson County. So heads up, really just north of Godley and just north of Joshua. You might get in if this can hold up, which it looks like it could do in the next half hour. You might get in on that hail as well. The view from around Fort Worth, you can see that storm, those dark clouds building back there in the background. 92 in Fort Worth, South Lake at 90 degrees. Of course, much cooler where you're seeing those heavy clouds and the heavy rain as well. This is how things are going to progress, though, as we move on through uh, the next couple of days. We'll see those showers really diminish overnight tonight as we get into 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Moving on into the day on Monday and into Tuesday, some drier time working its way back in. High pressure developing. It's going to expand right across midsections of the country, a true summer like look across midsections of the country. This is going to provide not only some dry time, a little bit more easterly flow. It should really hamper our rain chances. So it looks like dry time, especially Tuesday into Wednesday, might see a stray shower early tomorrow. But most of this week, some dry time temperatures are on the increase as we get into next week. And we'll be close to the triple digit mark. Notice those rain chances are finally on their way down moving into this work week. So for tonight, 76 degrees, evening storms diminishing 8, 9 o'clock. Still watching for the threat for up to an inch hail and watching that severe storm in Johnson County. Quieter overnight, tomorrow mostly dry. Could see a straight storm. That would be early in the morning, most are dry. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, dry time. Heat building back in. And next weekend, another hot wind will be in the upper 90s, Dan.